We are standing at the Western Wall Plaza. Just beneath us, there is a unique joint project to the Israeli Antiquities Authority and the Western Wall Heritage Foundation. From here, we're entering the Western Wall Tunnel sites. Now, we'll go below and travel through time thousands of years. The first thing that we see here in the excavation is a massive and impressive public building dated 1400 years ago. The building had a plain mosaic pavement. Just below the plain mosaic floor, we found this surprise, a fully rock cut room with niches. Some are circular, some were rectangular and even small triangular niches for placing oil lamps when the room was dark. With the course of the excavation, we found this fully cut opening that takes us to the continuation of the system. We're asking ourselves, what was the function of this very complex rock cut system? Did it used for people to live here? or did people store here food or groceries to an upper building that did not survive? Another possibility is that this system was used for hiding during the siege on Jerusalem 2000 years ago when the Roman legions conquered the city. שבר של כלי אבן, כוס מידה, כלי אבן שהם לא מקבלים טומאה, ולכן בסביבות המקדש ובירושלים אנחנו מוצאים הרבה מאוד כלי אבן, גם מצאנו מספר רב של שברי נרות, תקופתם היא ממש מערב חורבן הבית השני, כאלף שנים מאוחר יותר, נרות שמאותרים באשכולות של ענבים, ממש אפשר לראות את הפיח שמראה שהנר היה בשימוש. כותרת של עמוד מהתקופה הרומית המאוחרת. אלו עדויות מרתקות לחייהם של האנשים שחיו כאן. We're standing in one of the openings of the monumental building exposed during the excavations. This building had several renovations. These constant renovations reminded one of our staff members the story about a synagogue here in Jerusalem collapsed 1,000 years ago rebuilt and renovated after a donation from the Jewish community in Lebanon that was given to the Jewish community here in ancient Jerusalem in the year 135 CE.